Let's take some time now and continue our coverage of the St. Francis County Sheriff's Race. And we're joined now by one of the candidates, Tim Harris, on the Parkland Podcast again. Thanks for uh, taking time to talk to us. And uh, before we get started in the politics of things, from your opinion, who made the best pancakes at the Deloitte Chamber of Commerce? Oh, I did. I mean, uh, mine on one side, they were they were really nice. And, and yeah. on the other side, I just left it a little bit, you know, like a medium rare pancake. Um, <laughs> it works for steak, right? Yeah, you bet. I think it works really good for, you know, it, I just hope no one gets worms. That's, that's, that's what I I also have to send a uh, shout out to Tim because when I was at the St. Francis County Fair, he was handling the canine demonstrations. Uh oh He offered mm. me the opportunity mm. to be... A, uh, a chew toy. Yeah, yeah, yeah. A chew toy for one of <laughs> yeah. the dogs. To which I politely declined. Every dog loves a bone, Mark, and we've got a bunch of them. So. Well, he, he offered up a couple of mine. <laughs> That's right. There you go. That's, That's right. Tim Harris's new campaign slogan, help him take a bite out of crime. That's yeah, it, right there. Right there. Uh, let's talk about your vision for the department if you're elected. I know that uh, procedures are things that a lot of people have talked about. How do you see that and uh, what are your plans? So we do have to have, uh, the Sheriff's Department right now, we've got policy and procedure. It doesn't govern every aspect of our, of our job. Uh, but we need some policy and procedures in the jail on patrol to, to help guide these guys uh, and give them, you know, that direction they need to go. Leadership has gotten us there right now. We need to add that, that policy and procedure to go along with that leadership that we've given them for the past almost four years. Um, you know, policy and procedures are big. We need to make sure we're not micromanaging these guys, too. Um, you know, these guys need to have the freedom to go out and fight crime uh, and, and do it thoroughly. Uh, our department, I would say, probably in, in multiple counties, we, we are leading in meth arrests and heroin arrests. Um, you know, but we also need to start providing recovery type support. When those guys, you know, we make these arrests, we put them in jail, let's give them something to do while they're in there. And that recovery would be good too. So you're out giving your message. What are people telling you, though, about what they want as sheriff? Well, they're they're pretty receptive to what I've got to say. I mean, it's it's. I feel like it's well rounded. I've done this job for almost 25 years, all at the sheriff's department. I've learned a lot. I can always learn more. I mean, if I get to the point where I'm done learning, I might as well hang it up then. Sure. Uh, you know, one thing that I was asked, Bismarck Parade. Um, I was there. And one family called me over. It was a family, I think, of four or six uh, adults. And they looked at me and said, you, you know, we've heard every, every candidate. Where do you stand on red flag laws? And I looked at them, and I mean, it's instantly, they're unconstitutional. And their eyes got real big, and they said, well, you're the first person to answer it that way. Why is it unconstitutional? It's because it lacks due process. Due process is in the Constitution. We cannot, until someone is found guilty or uh, mentally incompetent. We can't do anything about taking their guns. So that's been, that's been big, and that's one of the questions that I'm asked. And another question I'm asked is who I'm supporting on the, on the federal level for president. You know, I, I, I try to avoid that type of politics with, with others because I'm not a political guy. I'm voting for who I'm voting for because he best fits me. Um, but a lot of times people aren't very satisfied with that answer. So, <laughs> and it's not, it's not Biden. It's, just, it's definitely not Biden. Well, how do folks find out more about your campaign? So I've got, uh, I'm on Facebook, Tim Harris for St. Francis County Sheriff. Uh, and I'm also uh, on uh, my, the internet uh, or my, my website is harrisforsheriff.com. They can go there. My whole platform is laid out. You know, I've got to update outdated equipment. My guys are driving around in 2018 explorers that break down on a constant basis. You know, they got almost 200,000 miles or some of them are over 200,000 miles. When you put them in something that they know we're going to go from point A to point B when we get a call, our citizens don't have to wait for a tow truck to drag us there. Uh, you know, we've, we've got to improve our technology. We've, we've started that now with ITI, you know, our report writing system. Uh, we're completely caught up on the patrol side with all of our reports. Everything's been entered into uh, our new computer system. So we're not, we're not backdated on that. Or we have backdated everything and caught ourselves up. Uh, but we, you know, there's new technology out there. We need to add body cams and things like that. Um, but, you know, 
the big thing, the citizens need to know that they can rely on us. And if all, if everything breaks loose on the federal level, they need to know that we're going to stand with them or we're going to stand by ourselves at the county line, toe to toe, arm in arm, and no one's getting past us. This is our county. Very good. Very good. Uh, again, you mentioned the website, the Facebook page, uh, and uh, a, a big family behind you. you you have a lot of support don't you i do i do you know my I, I went to praying about this um last year when the other guys before the other guys announced really and after they announced i got peace about it the guy gave me peace then shortly after that it's door kept opening after door kept opening the sheriff approached me and asked me what i was going to do and i said oh i'm waiting he said well go ahead and get out there let people know you're running well that to me was blessing go ahead and do it assuming that he's going to retire you know what they say about assuming um right, right. dan bullock will prove you every time wrong uh so you know it it's been good at the sheriff's department we're not there's no animosity between dan and i um i've asked him for pointers from time to time he gives them to me but i'm running my own campaign um yes family my wife katie uh she has been a rock very supportive uh for a while she was out of work and during that time she used all that time to drive this campaign forward and keep me moving forward uh my kids very supportive um i've i've really enjoyed i honestly it's brought us together more as a family so good support from them good support from the men and women at the sheriff's department i you know i i don't want to i don't, don't want to cast shade or anything like that but i do have a lot of support from within the sheriff's department and that's great you know if if i didn't have the men and women supporting me that i lead on a daily basis i i wouldn't be doing this Thank you so much. Best of yes. Luck to you. Yes, sir. Thank you guys again for having me. Tim Harris again running for St. Francis County Sheriff joining us here on the Parkland Podcast.